Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Joy screams Trump supporters drank cult Kool Aid. Audience give SmackDown. Joy Behar is one hot mess. The obnoxious comedian accidentally stabbed herself with a knife so badly that she ended up having to be hospitalized. But it's clear the doctors didn't address her true problem, Trump derangement syndrome. Behar's back on The View, screaming that supporters of President Donald Trump are in a cult, and drank the Kool-Aid. Well, Big Mouth Behar was shocked as the fed-up audience gave her a proper smackdown. Joy Behar's completely unhinged as President Trump continues to guide the nation back to prosperity. Behar claims her recent hospital stay was due to avocado hand. Apparently, Joy was trying to peel an avocado when she stabbed herself in the hand and ended up hospitalized for several days. Yet her hospital stay did nothing for her stress levels. She was out of control as she returned to The View. Joy expects her audience to cheer all of her nasty anti-Trump rhetoric, and it's no surprise that most of The View's liberal audience complies. But recently the joyless wonder has been so hateful that the audience's reaction is more of groans and gasps. Joy's stress stems from the Hollywood crowd. They are extremely nervous about the upcoming midterm elections. In fact, Hanoi Jane Fonda only a few days ago warned a crowd of Hollywood elites of the existential crisis facing America under the Trump administration, urging them that the only solution is taking back our government. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Usually, midterms are a boost to the party not in power. But the Democratic candidates are a bunch of whiners playing identity politics. They have no message, nothing to run on. The economy is better, we've had tax cuts, Obamacare is on life support, and America is back as the world's superpower. Deep down, Joy knows this. The Daily Caller reports, responding to the idea that Congressman Mark Sanford, RSC, was ousted in his primary on Tuesday by a challenger, Katie Arrington, who vocally supported Trump. Behar also suggested that there was an unwritten rule against challenging Trump. After Meghan McCain tried to push back on Joy's claim, Big Mouth Behar doubled down. But the point seems to be that in all these primaries and probably in the midterms if you dare to speak against the king, Donald Trump, then he will screw with you, and tweet something against you. Joy feels she's on a roll, but the audience is dead silent. So the joyless wonder goes nuclear, screeching, these guys, Trump supporters, are either in a cult and drank the Kool-Aid, I don't know, or they are afraid they have to go back to their other jobs as exterminators and postal carriers, and one guy is an explosives expert. Another is an emergency dispatcher. They do not want to go back. So they will kiss his ring and anything else he wants you to kiss. What? If you're lost about who Behar is referring to when she's screaming about exterminators and postal carriers afraid they have to go back to their other jobs, she actually has a list of GOP politicians who have won recent elections, and here's why the audience wasn't cheering. Those exterminators and postal carriers aren't career politicians. They back Trump because they live in the middle class and believe in his agenda. Isn't that the problem with the swamp? The Democratic leadership of Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Maxine Waters have had no other jobs. They have a combined age of 224 years. This is not what the Founding Fathers had in mind when they formed Congress. Serving in Congress was meant to be just that, service. It's not a career or a path to become a millionaire. So Joyless was dumbstruck as her rent flopped. Even the liberal audience wasn't backing her nonsense. Trump supporters at home weighed in, giving her another smackdown. Lori C. tweeted to Joy, That's funny, the resistance cult calling Trump supporters a cult. Oh the irony. Twitter user Imogene Prince tweeted, At Joy of Bihar probably thinks that supporting oath of office rule of law U.S. Constitution love of country USA is a cult also. Behar is obviously out of touch with reality. Sad. Very sad. Yep, the left is losing because they have become so radicalized that they are totally out of touch with reality in America today. Mary E. Silva also lets Big Mouth Behar have it, tweeting, Talk about cults, these liberal idiots get their talking points in the morning and repeat and regurgitate the party line the rest of the day. Joy's speech is pressured, and she exhibits all the signs of someone who can't cope. She has put a lot of time into trashing Trump and supports the idea that anyone who voted for him is low income, not educated, and has no idea about political matters. Well, she is finding out the hard way Trump voters are smart, savvy, and refuse to be silent. Big Mouth Behar is nothing but a tool of the radical left parroting their lies and losing talking points. She's so stressed about Trump winning that she stabbed herself, so it's time to remove all sharp objects from anywhere the joyless wonder may go. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. 
Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.